Thank you so much, sweetheart. It's so sunny this morning. <laughs> wow. Bumblebee is making friends. <laughs> they are absolutely adorable. Look at their little eyes. Hello, baby. So not just Mongolia, Kyrgyzstan is as well a big, big petting zoo. <laughs> Good morning world, welcome back to our circumnavigation around the globe by motorcycle. Good morning Bumblebee. Good morning Bumblebee. We are here at the stunning Songku Lake in Kyrgyzstan and it's been a beautiful morning with the birds and the cows. But it's been actually a horrible night. I was freezing cold. The wind came in constantly. During the day here it was actually really really warm. But then we are at 3,000 meters above sea level. So during the night, it got really cold. So in the middle of the night, we just like put on all of our clothes. Yesterday, we asked to sleep in one of the yurts here. But can you believe it? All yurts are booked out. <laughs> and those yurts had a fireplace. So mm. I was pretty jealous last night. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. But the sun is up and it's getting hotter by the second. So let me show you guys where we're heading today. So we are here and today we're gonna to be continuing our way southwest in the direction of the city of Osh on the border to Uzbekistan. Yes, we are heading further into the mountains of Kyrgyzstan and I'm super excited to see what's ahead. We had a bit of tough road already coming to this lake. Pretty crazy road actually, <laughs> at the end. <laughs> but I think it's gonna get even tougher today. So we don't know exactly how far we're gonna get or what's happened today, but it will be awesome. It's gonna be an adventure. Yes, so we still have to pack up everything and it's already 7.30, so better hit the road, let's go. Okay, okay. here we go. One, two, three. Yep, okay. All right, ready to rock and roll? Yep. All right, let's do it. Yes. You can see these guys are corralling their little mini herd of cows this morning. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Another yeah. camper. <laughs> nice. So I don't know exactly how we're going to get back. Ah, yeah. Look, there's like the little gate thing. Yeah, that's probably the entrance. I'm just kind of following this, this, this track. Yeah. Exciting day ahead. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's going to be a challenge today, I reckon, but... I don't know, we just have to start the day with the determination to face it and be like, yes, we are gonna do the dirt road. Whatever it is, we're just gonna we're just gonna ride it. Yeah, like you said, just embrace yourself, eh? Embrace the shake. That's what I say. Yeah. Starting with the challenge of actually getting on the road. Yeah. Yeah, that'll be alright. You think? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> alright, here you go. Challenge number one. <laughs> Overcome. Yes. I hope we will have 90% of a road like that here because this is a nice dirt road, you know, no problem No problem and look at the view ahead. Hey stunning. Look at that. And now we have to go up and over <laughs> Yeah, I saw on the map a lot of switchbacks So I don't know if that's switchbacks up or switchbacks down. We're already at 3,000 meters So how yeah. high are we gonna go? Yeah, exactly. I don't think that it's that high actually I don't know Kyrgyzstan has mountains over 7,000 meters high. This is some serious mountains here. Yeah Kyrgyzstan roadblock. <laughs> oh yeah, go on, all cross now. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> Yoo! Wow, look at this views. Wow, we just came up and over a little pass and this looks like a crazy road down ahead. Oh my God, it does. So that answers our question whether the switchbacks were up or down. <laughs> they are down. <laughs> wow. Wow. Nice and easy, nice and slow. Okay. Whew. 
All right, let's check out these switchbacks, eh? Yeah. Whoa, look at that. <laughs> so we're going to be going around here and then yit, 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 down. Yeah, down, baby. Wow, crazy. Wow. Yeah, that's going to be some kind of down. Look at that. Yeah. And I don't even know where it goes. It goes like all the way down to the bottom there where the trees are. I know. Oh, my God. Yeah, but look at the trees. Look at them. They're just like, like little pointy things, you know? Yeah. They, look, they don't look like trees. No, it looks like they've copy and pasted like loads of sort of like drawings of trees. Yes, exactly. Honestly, it looks like a painting here. Yeah, man. And it's quite nice to go down, actually. Yes. <laughs> I like as long as I make the turns. Oh yeah! Wow, what a view, hey! What a what view! What a view! What a view in the morning. It looks magical, man. Absolutely magical. Look, it just goes down and down and down. Yes. Wow. Yes, I don't know where it's going to, man. <laughs> so no, that's where we're going. We're going down there. Wow. What? 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 What happened? Oh no. Okay, hold on. I'm coming to the side. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, the drone has crashed again. <laughs> Let me go and get it. I see it, I see it, I see it, I see it. Let's see if we've got any rotor blade broken or anything broken. Oh, okay, can I grab it? Okay, let's see what's going on. Okay, one rotor blade has a tiny, tiny chip in the, in the end of it. Camera and gimbal look good. All the arms look good. I think it might be all right. I don't know if this wingtip is gonna affect the flight. I think it's not. It's literally the tiniest little chip out of it. Probably about a centimeter off the end. It should be able to still fly like that. Now we know that on active track mode, where it's tracking us riding along, it can crash itself into a tree. Yes! The drone is still working. Let's try camera down. Yes! Camera up. Yes! Do a little spin around. Oh, it's great. Oh, it's still working. Yes! Whew. That's good. Good news. The drone will live to fly another day. What an epic pass here. It's really, really beautiful. Kyrgyzstan, you surprised me. There we go. We've reached the valley floor. And we made it in one piece. <laughs> there you go, that's the most important thing. I just want to get through Kyrgyzstan without breaking anything on me or on the bike. Yes, <laughs> but it's absolutely stunning here. Like seriously, 
wow yeah i can't get over how just how nice this is yeah when kinga from on her bike suggested like she's like guys don't just go across kazakhstan go into kyrgyzstan go and see the mountains you won't regret it well she was totally <laughs> right she was totally right wow look at this we're really coming down into the gorge now wow whoa look at this what a mental way hey absolutely something else here Oh my god, I don't want to know like how the car's doing on the way up, you know? Yeah, look at this car. Yeah. This is like a really old car, it's like a 50 years old. <laughs> wow. Good luck, buddy. Good luck, buddy. We've reached civilization again. Yoo! <laughs> and it's really funny because they always have like a little bit of tarmac in the towns and you're always like, oh yeah, that's so nice, and it's so smooth. But as soon as you go out the other side, it's gone. <laughs> everything gone here there should be a petrol station yeah just ahead we'll fuel up yep it's always good we just don't know how often we're going to see petrol stations yep i mean it's crazy it looks like such a big road here but yeah. then yeah apparently as soon as we're leaving the town it's gone it's over <laughs> Let's see if there's somebody. I saw another thing just back there. Yeah, but this looked empty. Empty. Oh, did that look abandoned? Yeah. I mean, this one looks abandoned as well. Yeah, it does actually. Maybe you have to go ah. to the window. Okay. Hello. Oh, okay. 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 Bye bye. Bye bye. So we just stopped here to get a little bit supplies we got some water and some fried bread oh wow look at that mm. this is made by the lady here in the shop sambat nice yeah let's try it hey yeah wow <laughs> with a heart <laughs> wow cool Rahmat. 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 <laughs> really cool Rahmat, thank you Canada. 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 Look at that bike! Wow, electric, electric! Oh, cool! Rahmat, thank you! Jakshibar! Oh, did you remember what is goodbye? Jakshibar! Jakshibar! I think so. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. <laughs> yeah, she tried to teach me five times, but I didn't get it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a nice lady, really! Uh, what a tasty! <laughs> fried bread that was hey we went and got a second one because yes. it was just so nice deep fried bread i'm up for it yeah for sure so now after a little refresh we have 60 miles left to reach a town called kazarman in kazarman we're going to decide what to do whether we're going to stay in the town or whether we're going to continue on further let's see how long it takes to get there eh yes hello hello uh, uh Ka kazarman this way no no this way ah this way asphalta is this way all tarmac no 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 uh, this one no oh uh, no 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 a uh, gravel ah uh, okay uh, which way is easier for us which way is easier this way okay uh, how many kilometers okay Una or dos hora two hours uh, more more five five hours five. ah but he says it's all asphalt yeah but five uh -huh, hours asphalt. Asphalt. Okay, okay. Uh, we don't have internet, do we? Or do we? Um, voice no. translation isn't available. Kazaman? One hour, two hour, three hour? Four hours. Four hour, okay. Kazaman, uh, th this road? No, five, five hours. hours. Ah, okay. Okay. Four hours. Okay. Rahmat, Rahmat, thank you. Rahmat. Bye bye. Interesting. Interesting. Wow. So the local people think that 
there's another road that's going that way which is not tarmac and that takes five hours this road which is tarmac takes four hours yeah wow but google says it's an hour and a half yeah what well, google says there is another road which doesn't exist which is one and a half hours google is completely wrong some people we spoke to earlier they said that they came from the other road which follows the valley back back, back where we came from uh, but they said the road was was uh, was quite bad but it's only 60 miles so i really have no idea if this is a mistake to do this detour yeah but i mean if it's tarmac all the way uh -huh. it's going to give us a good respite because tomorrow we've got plenty of dirt roads yeah so i don't know maybe it is a good idea just to take a nice winding tarmac road instead i mean to be fair these are locals yeah they should normally know right yeah i mean if they said kazarman this way yeah you know then i mean that's the way we should go yeah exactly yeah. okay so now we're a little bit confused <laughs> <laughs> yes. because clearly this is not tarmac yes and it's actually the second section now it does look like it's under construction yeah but i just wonder like how much of this way is going to be like this you know yeah i know we managed to have a check on google maps we got a little bit of signal and it seems like the way that we're going now is a hundred miles to Kazarman and the way that we could have gone on the dirt road was 60 miles to Kazarman. It's really difficult to know but this is definitely a longer way so if it becomes a longer way and we're on gravel the whole time yeah. then uh, that's going to be a bit of a mistake then isn't it? Yeah <laughs> <laughs> definitely. But I mean we asked like a bunch of different people and everybody's like yeah yeah and now it's there's no asphalt anymore. Yeah. So I have no idea what that's about. No idea. So we can only hope that a few miles down the road we're going to hit asphalt again otherwise mm. we've got a hundred hundred miles <laughs> instead of 60 miles to do oh no yeah yeah i mean that's not asphalt here is it it's certainly not <sighs> gonna ask this car yeah. as well yeah hello, hello. kazarman this way. Kazaman? Uh, it's uh, asphalt or no? Asphalt no. Uh, no. No asphalt. <laughs> like this. The Kazarman. Ah, okay. Rahma, thank you. Now we're a little bit stuck. Okay, so how far would it be to go back? We took the wrong way. So the petrol station is 28 miles. Okay, so 30 miles back and then 60 miles road or or possibly 100 miles road like this. What do you think? Uh. Hey. Huh? Asphalt Nieto. Uh, okay. Okay, like this. Okay. Rahmat. No asphalt. And we already did 30 miles in this direction. Okay, so you think we should just carry on on this road? Yeah, because the other way is now the same, you know? 100 miles back and round? Yeah. Or 100 miles forward? Yeah. I mean, yeah. maybe it is easier. Maybe the road is better, but oh, yeah. either way, it's just up to our journey time now. If we've got 100 miles to do now, yeah. it's going to be at least four hours. Yeah. So yeah, it looks like we've got quite a way to go now. And there's a rain cloud up ahead. Look at that. Let's see if we get rained on as well today. Yeah. I just saw like a big lightning strike over there. And that's not going to be very good if that comes towards us. No, we want to follow the sun, not the storm. <laughs> anyway, it looks like quite blue skies in the direction yeah. we're going. So yeah. as long as we can get past this, then we'll be all right. Yeah. So we just came down into this valley and there's another storm in front. <laughs> Now I think we definitely could get wet. Yeah. So it's really started to rain on us now. We're gonna put our rain clothes on and I've got to put the media mod for the GoPro away. So that'll be the end of the talking for now. A miracle happened. The sun came out. Look there. Yeah, it's still raining up 
on the hill behind us. We just asked a local uh, on a bike actually, he came past and he's like, oh, four hours. And that's what they said at the beginning. They yes. said like, oh, four hours to Casaman and then he's yes. like, four hours to Casaman. So yes. Yes. I don't know. We've made like 20, 25 miles yeah. out of a hundred. So we've got a long way to go. Yeah. We're just going to eat some muffins, drink a bit of water and then yeah. continue. I mean, we were asking for the adventure, hey? That's no. it. <laughs> Adventure has come to us. <laughs> Got it, yes. A beautiful cemetery, like the same in Kazakhstan. Is that a little bit tarmac? <laughs> I think it might have been tarmac a long time ago. Yeah. But now it's like, I mean, look at this. Yeah. Yeah, not much tarmac left. No. These villages here, they are so in the middle of nowhere. I'm really impressed, actually how traditional people living here. They've got a three hour road just to get to the town that we're heading to tonight, which is not even a big place. It's a tiny town. Yeah. And that's like the biggest place around this area. So these guys are really in the middle of nowhere here. Yeah. I mean, in the middle of nowhere, but surrounded by the most epic nature. Yeah. They've certainly got that. Yeah. This part of Kyrgyzstan is still so remote. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, where we are now, Bishkek is just like, it's just a world away. Yeah. It's a different country, Bishkek, sure. from here. For sure. Coming through a beautiful wildflower valley at the moment and the road has become quite a lot smaller to be honest yeah and we can see on the map quite a few switchbacks coming up so i don't know what it's going to look like ahead oh wow these are all bees oh my goodness whoa oh my <laughs> goodness oh my god oh my goodness it's okay you're not a bumblebee yeah, yeah, Bumblebee and Bumblebee's friends, hey? Exactly. Hope the truck will wait for a second. Yeah, he's pulling over for us. That's nice. Yeah, yeah no wonder they put bees here. I mean, there's yeah. tons of flowers here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, here's the switchbacks going oh, up yeah. there. Mm Up, up, up. Yeah, climbing, climbing. Yeah, wow. 40 miles to go. Yoo! <laughs> oh my lord. Whoa, look at this on the other side. Epic, man. Epic. Yeah, totally. Look at that. I feel like we could almost just kind of go straight. Yeah. Go straight, yeah. Who needs all these switchbacks? After quite a lot of boring roads, it's quite nice to see a bit of landscape, hey? Oh my god, we had so many miles of just straight flat in the valley. Yeah, I can feel my back, you know? Yeah. I really can't feel my back. I need to do some stretching. Yeah. It's so funny when you think about that we actually wanted to not go the other way. We wanted to avoid a 60 mile dirt road. Yes. And now we end up on a 100 mile dirt road. Yes. <laughs> I'm just surprised that the locals really thought that this uh, road is way easier than the other road. We just have to imagine that the other road is like insanely difficult and at least we saved ourselves that. Yeah, exactly. I kind of want to ride it now to see how yeah. difficult it is. <laughs> 
Oh yeah, there we go. It was bound to happen, wasn't it, eventually? <sighs> the stupid mudguard screw is gone again. <sighs> so yeah, the difficulty here is that the other one is an Allen key and we lost our set of Allen keys in our Matty, so we don't really have a way to open it. Maybe two cable ties to it? Yeah, nearly there. Nearly there. <laughs> so it's currently half past four. And we have about 30 miles still to go. Maybe like one more hour and we're there. There it is. Kazarman. <laughs> we made it. Oh, speed bump. Oh, wee. Wow. And look what we've got here in Kazarman. Tarmac. <laughs> wow, that was a long journey. Yeah, it's currently half past five. So that means since leaving that uh, little shop where we had some bread and the petrol station, it took us seven hours yeah. to get from there to here. Yeah, seven hours to do 130 miles. That's insane. And I thought that we were going to arrive here too early and that yes. we would have to be like, it's not far enough. <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh my God. Oh my God. We've been on the bike in total nine and a half hours today. Yeah. So yeah, it's enough. It's enough. Kazarman is enough. Yeah, for sure. So we found one hostel here in Kazarman on iOverlander and it's just four minutes from here. So we will just ride there now and check it out. Hello. This one? Hospitality Kyrgyzstan. Hello. Hello. How are you? Hello. <laughs> Do you live here? Yes. yes? It's your house? Yes? What is your name? Julia. 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 Nice to meet you. Me, I'm Lovey. Lovey. And this is Oli. Can I ask your, your <laughs> papa mama? Yes? No? <laughs> Good evening guys, we made it, happy delights! <laughs> I never thought it would happen, but we're here, we made it to town. After 160 miles, of which most of it was a very bad dirt road. Yeah, it was really tough, really slow going, but Bumblebee survived, we survived. I haven't actually checked the shock, but it feels like it's not broken yet, which is really good. We have no flat tire, we didn't fall over, all of my ribs are intact. <laughs> Thumbs up. So now we're gonna have a good rest and get some energy to continue our mountain adventure in Kyrgyzstan. Yes, and that's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comment below, and we will see you next time.